bigger fish. What is this? So, I typically am not the one to buy cheap stuff. Most of my reels are over $200. You know, I like to use Vanstall, Shimano, and Daiwa. But, every now and then, you can find a decent reel under $100. That doesn't really happen. The last reel that I bought under $100 was probably something that I used to catch for bait. But anyways, but I came across this. This is the Ozark Trail Saltwater Resistant Spinning Reel with 13 internal seals. $54, about 60 bucks with tax. I wonder if this reel here, do you think this reel here is going to be just as good as a Daiwa Ballistic EX, Spheros, and supposedly you can dunk it and fish with it, a Vanstall VR 150. Let's check it out. Let's open it up and see what's in here. Fully sealed, 13 seals for 60 bucks. It up. So what I'm looking at here, it's a gear ratio 5 to 1. So it's, uh, it's, it's on the slower end, which means it has more torque. It has a few bearings. It's a uh, 3 plus 1. This is a size 14,000. This is perfect. This matches up with my Ballistic EX 4000 from Daiwa. All right. So it's silver. It, it has some really good weight to it. It feels pretty heavy. But there isn't much description on the box. I know it's just a 4,000 size reel. And on the back, it says there's 13 internal seals, metal body, and to be honest, this actually looks just like a tsunami shield. You know what? Yeah, it's this is very close to a tsunami shield. But I think in the 4,000 size with the Shimano with the tsunami shield, I think I think the tsunami 4,000 has 10 seals, and then the uh, five to six thousand of those have 13 seals. But this is a 4,000 size with 13 seals. All right. So what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna swim with it. We're gonna dunk it. We're gonna we're gonna fish it hard. All right. Because if it doesn't work, I'll just take it back to Walmart for a refund. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. About, can I take it back with the messed up package like this? Who knows? Let's open it up. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's feels good. Check it out, y'all. All right, so out of the package, it comes with a proprietary tool, just like Van Stahl. It comes with his own tool to take it apart. It also comes with an instruction manual. It comes with the schematics, the schematics on the back, and also uh, some of the information in regards to this reel. Here you see the seals that's inside the reel, which is very similar to a lot of the fully sealed reels. The only thing that, the only problem that I see with this reel is that it's not IPX rated. You know, I'm big on IPX ratings. My one of my uh, Shimano Spheros is IPX8. The previous model of that Spheros is IPX7. Saragossa is IPX8. Uh, spin fishes are IPX5. Slammers are IPX6. Shimano has better sealing than uh, Pen in that in that sense. So I don't know what the IPX rating for this, but according to Ozark Trail, is this is a water resistant reel, which can be it can be dunked, sprayed by water without the worry of water intrusion. All right, but also it says that you cannot reel with this underwater. Of course, I wouldn't do that with it with the Spheros, or maybe I could do that with a bad stall. But I'm not gonna try it with this. All right. Well, actually, you know what? I am gonna do it. Actually, it's 50 bucks. All right. So let's put it together real quick and. I mean, so far this reel feels pretty sturdy, like really, really sturdy. I'm gonna tighten the handle right there. Look at that. You know, it's 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 not it's, it's not super super smooth, but of course it has a lot of ceilings in there, so that's that. Let's check out the clicker. It's one of my one of my favorite th things to look at when I buy spinning reels is the clicker. Let's listen to it real quick. Hey, it sounds good. It sounds good. Actually, you know what? This clicker already sounds better than. That reel is under 250 bucks. Listen to the ballistic. Quiet. But listen to the Spheros. This is really loud. Now listen to the non-existent Vanstall. You, you can't. You probably can't even hear. It. I can barely hear it. Now the top clicker, of course, is gonna sound plasticky. Yeah, it sounds like plastic. I mean, nothing impressive there. But at least 
the spool clicker sounds really good. Sounds metallic. All right, well, let's take it apart. I would suspect that it's packed with grease at the shaft too. All right, there's one of the seals in there. There's a stack of washers and a seal in there. So far, so good, man, for 50 bucks. $54, actually, 60 with taxes. I like it so far, man. I might have to actually start using this myself. I mainly bought this for uh, my fiance so she can uh, use it and she likes to dunk, she likes to accidentally dunk reels at the beach so she can dunk this one all she wants. <laughs> Pretty good so far. So what I'm going to do is, I couldn't find how much drag this reel puts out. We're going to test this. What we're going to do is we're going to spool this up with 185 yards of 30 pound braid. That's more than enough. Actually, I was going to put 20 pounds. But with 30, 30 pounds, we can test out the drag at max. So we're gonna put that up. We're gonna put this on my Daiwa Coastal SP Surf Rod, the seven foot. All right, this is a great combo. Now Alice can sit on the sandbar and dunk the roof as much as she wants. And swim with it too to cool down. Check it out, y'all. Let's do it. Let's see how good it looks on here first. It's gonna, it's gonna match, it's, you know, silver and chroma, guys. We gotta get the sand off. Saltwater resistant. Nice and clean. We'll see if it holds up to the test. So here I got the Walmart saltwater resistant reel right here. It says right there, water resistant engineering. So we're going to see what it's like, man. We're going to see if it truly, truly is water resistant. It says you can dunk it and everything. You just can't reel with it under, all right? So I got my uh, breakaway rig right here with some shrimp. I'm going to cast this out and see what happens, all right? So let's see. It's a water resistant, so I don't need to worry about it so I can just do this then like that and then put my bait on here this is salt water resistant <laughs> Jesus I feel terrible for doing that all right there we go oh my god look at that water coming out of it <laughs> all right let's do it salt water resistant it just got dunked. You can dunk it. You just how durable this reel is gonna be. All right, just cast it out. Straight ahead, right in there. Ah, feels good. Let's see if we can catch something with this real quick. Remember, they said you can dunk it, so we'll see. Thirteen internal seals. Oh, bigger fish. What is this? Oh my god, I don't even know what this is. I just saw like a nice hit. Oh, like I'm pulling all that drag. It's like a little shark or what? It feels really good. Yeah, swimming right in front of me on a saltwater resistant reel. We 
Look at that fooling drag. Was it a stingray or what? That's what it feels like. Oh, it sure is. This is what we need for bait right here. Oh my God, this is perfect. Perfect. Perfect bait. Hey, you were just saying, man, I hope you catch a stingray or something. Perfect bait. I just flew it out too, man. I told her, I was like, yeah, if you something good, you might want to grab that camera. <laughs> On a saltwater resistant reel. Uh, check it out, the saltwater resistant reel came through with that. Hey, it felt pretty good. After I dunked it too. First fish on a saltwater resistant reel. All right, so I'm on my way back to Walmart. I'm gonna go exchange and get a new one because I chunked this, I threw it, I buried it and all this stuff. And uh, you know, why not just get a new one anyway? So I'm gonna go ahead and exchange it for the, another size. But overall, I actually really like this reel. I'm gonna be honest with you, for under $100, I would probably get this. So far, I had it from really good. I mean, you know, you see what I did with it. But for $50, honestly, it's I think it's a good deal. There are some other reels that I've had. I had the Daiwa Eliminator, that's $100. It didn't even last me that long. It started getting all crunchy and stuff. Uh, the BG, I don't like the Daiwa BG, to be honest. Uh, I've dunked that one, and uh, it also got crunchy. It started feeling a little weird. and. For $100, I mean, I guess you're only going to get a sealed drag, and that's what they did with the BG, but then the Tsunami Shield came along and did better sealing than the BG for 100 bucks. But overall, man, this $54 reel right here, I think this is, this is a decent reel, you know? If you had the, if you were going to buy a budget reel, I'd get this right here. This is what I would get. Plus, if you mess it up, you can go return it at Walmart. You know, so, this is what I would do, man. Now, overall, it's a decent reel. It's not fancy. There's no, you know, major aesthetics to it just a plain looking reel but hey it works all right so i'm gonna be using this as a like a small lure setup that i'm gonna beat up in the surf all right but overall if you're gonna get a reel and you're on a budget 50 bucks 60 dollars 20 dollars i would get this so far so good all right anyways this 50 dollars you're not gonna expect this to last you a year two years or anything like that man it might get you through the year but this is what i would get for sure